Hi, and you're watching the Romany Pirates. Welcome back. And we're going to continue through the Yorkshire Dales and see what we can find. We've got some caves to go look at and, uh, well, loads of other stuff. Um, so, you ready? I'm ready. I couldn't mind you. I could do with a brew first. So, we're going to go make a cup of tea <laughs> and then we're going to go look at the caves. Here, Reese. Mm. You know these van, all these van lifers that are on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. That are much more famous than us. <laughs> <laughs> they named their kettle, and we haven't named our kettle. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. So if you think of a name for our kettle, put it in the comments, and we'll pick the best one. Yeah. We want to name it. Yeah, 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 they do. I've do that. come up with Kenneth, and I don't think that's Kenneth that good. the kettle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so come up with a name. And yeah, let us know in the comments. Daisy, what do you want? Are you <laughs> after some more breakfast? Are you want your breakfast? Absolutely beautiful, this, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. It's a little gorgeous. bit biased because we're both from Yorkshire. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning, sat here with a the brew. There's that saying, isn't there, that God made the world in seven days and on the eighth day he made Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> I've not heard that. <laughs> so, part of, uh, part of van life, especially in winter, is just getting out there and doing it like you've got to just uh you're not going to let the cold bother you just got to get wrapped up and do it anyway basically uh so that's what we're doing um and if you like travel adventure or you're just curious about kind of what it's like to travel in a van then you probably like this episode on this channel so keep watching we're just going to uh keep walking up here and uh, check out these caves and if you're cold wear two hats to act. <laughs> <laughs> inside the uh, the cave uh, and it's just like loads of cool little passageways and stuff I want to try and get down there it goes right to the end light coming through there and I sat down here just <laughs> chilling I'm just staying sat here where it's nice <laughs> <laughs> but look at the little window over there, look. A nice little bit here. I tell you what, off Valentine's Day in van life, this could be a good idea. You could do me a meal in a cave. <laughs> That's an idea. Jubilee Cave in the Yorkshire Dales if anybody wants to check it out it's quite an easy access up to it um, so we're gonna head back to the van now because Daisy's got a bit of a poor the eye so we're gonna get her out of the wind for the bit for a bit but keep watching uh, we'll show you what's coming up next so this is why we have an off-road pram the situation is just as this Sight, beautiful day, and uh, yeah, it's just freedom, really. You gotta ask yourself two questions, I think. Question one, what makes you free? And question two, how am I gonna do it? You don't always have to be like an epic adventure, you know, a simple walk through a beautiful countryside can make you feel alive, I think. Um, so yeah, it's just about what brings you freedom. For us, it's this. I've been staring at the ceiling. I've been staying up all night. Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink of an eye. Haven't I 
asking every question. So we're gonna head back to the van now. Keep watching, you're gonna love what's coming up next. So we're gonna hit the road now. Just getting Daisy in a, uh, a little travel pod. And off we go. I've been running circles, trying to catch my breath. I've been trying every... Just had to pull over and uh, show you these Highland cattle. How beautiful are they? Absolutely gorgeous. Sheep, isn't there in Yorkshire Dales? Yeah, it's well known for it, isn't it? There's tons of them They're everywhere. People say, don't they, that you shouldn't be a sheep? Yeah, because like sheep follow other sheep, don't they? So they say, oh, don't be a sheep. Yeah, but don't you think like they just sort of run off and do their own thing? Like they live out in nature doing whatever they want all the time, don't they? Yeah, in fact, I'd say be a sheep, always <laughs> be a sheep, because they're really chilled out, they don't care about bills, they do their own thing, completely carefree. And like they're not they're not bothered of a sheep. Yeah, that is very so I true. I think it, it should be rather than don't be a sheep, it should be always be a sheep. <laughs> That's what it should be. Always be a sheep. Oh wow. Look at that view. That is absolutely magnificent. So we've arrived in Malham. Um, in the Dales. This is my mum's favourite place, this. Is it? Hi, mum! <laughs> <laughs> she loves it here. I'll show you around Malham. jumper do you yeah. keeping you warm so Malham is your uh, your typical Yorkshire postcard isn't it yeah it is yeah like uh, if you're uh, if you sort of think of England and a perfect picture postcard, Malham's it, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a place to come and relax, really, isn't it? You're not, you don't come here to shop. No, you there ain't a right lot of shops here. You can relax and... It's just, a, it's just a very picturesque little village. It's beautiful. <laughs> Is there, isn't there? I stopped at the cake, yeah. There's um, raspberry ripple, lemon drizzle, Madeira. Oh, that one looks nice. What, what's that? I think I'll have raspberry ripple. Zesty lemon hand finished fudge cake. That sounds quite nice, lemon and fudge. Yeah, that's new. I'll try that. Oh, look, there's some treats for Daisy as well. Can we uh, get Daisy a little treat as well? Oh, yeah. What about that one? Yeah, I've got like no that. colours in that, has it, by the looks of it, so that'll be better for her. So we've got ourselves some uh, cake from the shop. Back uh, to the van now, coffee and cake. <laughs> Give Daisy a treat first. Oh, Daisy, have you got a she treat? She won't be happy if she doesn't get that first. You have a treat? I've made her like a little cover over the canvas to keep her, uh, keep her warm because it's really windy. Oh, she usually hides them under her bed for treats. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? There is them. Anyway, I'm only going to give us a thin slice, you know. Because we've already uh, had a dinner, haven't we, today? Yeah. And my, my fingers. Thank you very much. I've got two there. So, you know, 
think it's life, but there's two of them. <laughs> you know what I went to the shop and you previously said about being a sheep? Mm. So I found this and I thought we could put this, mm, hang on, <laughs> we could put this in the van to remind us to always be a sheep and we'll live freely. <laughs> oh, that's what it. Do think? Isn't it cute? Oh, it's real cute. Isn't, <laughs> Isn't it cute? We can sit him and glue him on top of um, that cupboard where I've got the chairs, what we found when we were doing van up. Yeah. So we can put him on there. So Always be a sheep. Thought that'd remind you. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, yes, isn't it? Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So I think we'll enjoy his coffee now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, try and get a bit warmed up with this. And if you're enjoying our channel, we'll put a subscribe link up there and another episode somewhere up there. So if you want to watch another episode, you can do oh and don't forget to name the kettle leave us a comment in the comments yep. with suggestions on what we can name the kettle what did you call it kenneth the, Ke kenneth kenneth the kettle actually, it's not a bad good. name oh that's pretty good that it's kenneth not a the bad kettle. name if you can be yeah. kenneth the kettle let us know put it in comments <laughs> see you next time monday 8 p.m next week